Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Ella Aramachi, and today I'm bringing you another commentary. This video is my superstar mode, and this is a creation of my player, Raymond Mack. Now, for some of you, Raymond Mack might be a familiar name, and yes, that's because Raymond Mack is the name of my player from NBA 2K's My Player Mode. The reason why I decided I'd use Raymond Mack again is because, well, I'm Australian, I've said this in a few of my videos previously, and these sports like the NBA, 2K, and Man, and these are American sports, so I figured I'd just keep the same uh, character, the same person, and just bring him along. So if I ever get MLB or or uh, NHL, I'll probably also make a Raymond Mack. So in this, I tried to keep this Raymond Mack as close to the original, so I tried to give him the same cornrows, and uh, tried to um, give him the same details as my NBA one. So here I decided I'd uh, get drafted to a team, and I get drafted to my, uh, coincidentally, the team that I actually follow in the NFL, the Baltimore Ravens. So I was kind of happy about that, but because I'm a quarterback, I have to be benched uh, because our starter, Joe Flacco, he's a pretty good quarterback. So here I'm just quickly looking at my player, and I'm going to start off my first uh, training camp. So, um, just being one, I, I'll... I, would, I do suck in this video, but that's because it's my first one, so I didn't really know what to expect. This is a preseason, so I will be. Uh, I've already played my first game, so uh, I didn't get that recorded. Um, the recorder just stuffed up on me, so I will be starting to record what I do got up to. I think I'm up to my sixth game, and at the moment, I think our record is five wins, zero losses, and one draw. So that's pretty good, but uh. Uh, I will suck here in the training because I didn't really know exactly what to do. But I have improved since uh, this video was recorded. Today is the today's the fourteenth here in Australia. So if you're watching this, it'll probably be I don't know the thirteenth or maybe even the fifteenth. But so yeah, I've completed a few games since. So uh, you do see here like some stuff that I do that do not that that you wouldn't see an ordinary quarterback do or a professional Madden player do. So I'm not really the best at Madden. He just see me get sacked, but I quickly get the nice pass off to Ray Rice. But he only gets a gain of like five yards. But this is only practice. So I am practicing here. So uh, in the actual game, I do make a little improvement from the training. But like I said, since uh, this has been recorded to the days now, what I have made a, a, a big improvement. I, I believe it's a big improvement. Um, I might need some of your guys' opinions on some stuff. Like, because I'm not really the best at Madden, I don't really know what to do and what to expect in these uh, B Superstar modes. For people that have had previous ex uh, experiences, I just want to know what's the best stuff I should do for my quarterback. What's the best points I should uh, work on? At the moment, I'm just working mainly on his um, medium pass, uh, medium pass accuracy. Uh, uh, the awareness, I think that's already on 99. <coughs> Excuse me. And I think I'm working on his speed and acceleration. But I just want to know what else I should uh, work on because I want my play to be kind of based around the Vic uh, quarterback, a quarterback that's able to to get a good pass off, have a good game, and also get a few good runs in, so I can get past the uh, line of scrimmage. So that's what um, uh, I'm basing my character on around. I want my character to be like Michael Vick, but not exactly. I don't want, I don't want to duplicate a character. I don't want to duplicate uh, a quarterback. My Raymond Mack is an original. I don't want him to be um, to end up a copy. So we got our first preseason game against the Philadelphia Eagles, and uh, I didn't really edit this video out, so it will show all the loadings and stuff like that. <coughs> Excuse me. So, uh, in the meantime, while this all loads up, I just want to be speaking about NFL.com. I was on uh, NFL.com, the other site, and I seen the Fantasy League. And I have heard a few people speaking about it, so I thought, one, I'd just sign up. Uh, I do have a pretty bad team, I'm going to admit. I didn't really know what to expect and what to do. Uh, I did lose my first game of Fantasy, but second week, I think I, I'll have a good chance. But I'm just going to have to wait for that. And um, I'm thinking about just continuing on with fantasy. I just made fantasy for fun, but if I if, if I get more into it, then I'll probably you or well, not you guys. Uh, I'll probably be doing more of that. But it's it's, uh, it's a lot of fun to be doing. 
So here we're playing away, we're playing on the road against Philadelphia at their home. And... <coughs> so, um, usually with the introductions, I'd usually keep them. But usually when I get, like, just feel like playing, I just uh, straight away skip them, so that's what I've done there. And there you just see me choosing randomly heads or tails, because I really didn't care. Usually when I play, I usually like to kick off that way, the second half, we receive. And usually whenever I play, um, when I first started I on receive first, but now I'm doing kick off because I've got the better understanding. So now that every time I kick off, I usually do have a lead by the end of the second half, and I usually get a touchdown in the last the few seconds. In the next half, they receive to me, and that's just another touchdown, extra points. So here's my first play, and I do think I'd stuff up. This isn't the best game, I'm going to admit, but I just thought I'd show you guys my first B Superstar game. Yeah, they see that pass just got blocked. So I just, at, when I was playing this, I didn't really know what to do. Like, obviously I knew what to do, like, just got to pass it off to somebody. But I didn't really know who to see, who was clear, what was the right move to make. I'd just uh, listen to what the coach, coach would say, and I'd look for the red arrow. So just see who to pass to. But now sometimes whatever the coach says, and I see the playbook on the field, I just think that's just not right, and I just change it up to my play. And it usually works for me. Well, that's what's been working with me lately in the past two days. So that's pretty good. So here I decided to go for another running play. So whenever I'm in Baltimore, I decide I want to use a lot of running plays, that mainly because Ray Rice is just an absolute beast and he usually gets past their defense pretty quick. But uh, as you can see, it's second and 11, so I'm kind of just hoping we can get past the line of scrimmage and uh, get the conversion so we can get another set of three. So that's why I gave it back to him, but he just got caught up in the little struggle, in the little little claustrophobic area <coughs> then he got uh, down so now it's third and six I have to get this pass off I'm looking for Smith but that was a terrible pass and I'll just lose possession of the ball and that's one of the main reasons why we ended up losing this game so if you look at the score now it's 10 mil or 10 to 0 so that's, that's not really working too well for us so I just need to step up my game and actually do something pretty good so I hand it off to Ray Rice again and he's like I said he's a beast look at that he's away Ray Rice is away so over here I don't run the whole way I just like pull over to the side and stop because I knew he had that one so now this, uh, we're only down by 3 and it's the third quarter so we still have plenty of time to get back into this game uh, I just want to say, um, after making Raymond Mack, I played a few preseason games. I did decide I'd make another play. Just, I just want to see what the other position, how good the other positions were, because I have been asking a few people outside, around. We'll I've asked one of my friends. On uh, I'll, I'll leave a link to the people sure I asked. I think I only asked clean. two. I asked my boy Streaks, and I also asked uh, D Coop, uh, and they suggested halfback and quarterback are really good fun uh, positions to play. Well, I've done halfback and obviously here I'm quarterback. I'm having a lot more fun at quarterback because halfback I don't really do too much. I went to the Eagles when I was doing halfback and I, I didn't really have fun there. And I didn't really have fun with the position so I just thought I'd come back and continue quarterback. And I've been having a lot of fun and success lately. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry about all the coughing. So uh, now it's first and ten. <coughs> Excuse me. First and ten, I decided I'd go for a pass. I just want to get a quick deep pass, and I think that would well, that wasn't the right move to make. That was kind of a stupid move. But even though he did catch it, I just thought I shouldn't have done that. Still, there's still plenty of time on the clock, and I had plenty of time to get up there. I just rushed. Uh, I just rushed it. But uh, that's a lesson that I learned after watching this video over again. After watching the video, I'm like, I was thinking to myself, okay, I'll go here, and then when I see where the ball goes to, I was just a little bit, like you know, not. Not too happy. Here I get the touchdown again. So now we're up 13-10. And then I come off and then they get and then they get another touchdown. So now we're down by three. And it's the start of the fourth quarter. So I know we're in the shotgun here. When I've seen I've seen that the running back should be going towards the sideline. And at that time I didn't really like that play because it usually just ends up out of bounds because of my player's accuracy. So I just thought I'd switch up the play. And go for um, zero. I'll go for him, Bolden, I think it was. And they blocked it again. And that's one thing that I, uh, I was a little bit frustrated with at the start. How they managed to block everything. Like, it seemed it's nearly impossible to get a pass off because they always block it. But 
when I was thinking that, I wasn't looking for the right man. I was just looking for anybody that I see open over here. I get sacked big time. That was lost of about two or three yards. So I actually quickly get anything off going here because it is third and 16. So that's a lot of yards I need to gain. And I'll just go with him and he gets blocked again. So that's what I'm talking about blocking. They, well, they, like, at, not them at the time when I was playing, I thought that it was nearly impossible to do anything. So there you see we lose by three points. And I'm going to blame myself, I'm gonna blame myself for that loss. I didn't really make the smartest uh, decisions. But like I said, now that I have improved now, and I do know what I'm doing, and I know what to do. So you will be seeing more game, more the superstar gameplays, what I know what I'm doing, and it could be a little more entertaining and less boring. But that's just a little introduction to my superstar. And I just want to thank you guys for watching. If you like the video, uh, please give it a thumbs up. I appreciate it a lot, and it helps me out. And that's about it. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace. Out.